Good morning. This is Robert Carl Saberstein bringing you this morning's market update. Looking at the U.S. markets, indices closed down yesterday as oil and materials shares prices dropped, with investors remaining cautious after the horrific attacks in Belgium. Stocks, which had seen roughly a five-week rally, started to diminish yesterday, which added pressure on all indices, causing them to fall. The U.S. 500 dropped 14 points to close on 2037 spot 83. The U.S. Tech 100 declined 38 points to close on 4,404 spot 13. And the Wall Street shed 36 points to close on 17,589. In commodities, gold suffered heavy losses, declining $26 to close on $1,222.20, while Brent crude also suffered a decline, falling $1.05 to close on $40.53 a barrel. In Europe, investors are showing greater concern over the outlook for sterling than at any time in the last six years, and a sign of increasing nervousness about the outcome of June's referendum on Britain's membership of the EU, a surge in the cost of buying currency insurance on Wednesday underscored traders, increasing focus on the Brexit vote and their worry for a vi that a victory for the Leave campaign would send the pound plummeting. After two days of sharp falls in the sterling, taking it 2.5% lower against the dollar, the price of hedging against its fall rose sharply, surpassing similar shifts ahead of last year's UK general election and before Scotland's 2014 independence referendum. In Europe, the Germany 30 jumped up 20 points to close on 9,998 sorry, 9 spot 8 while the UK 100 declined 19.2 points to close on 6,160. In today's corporate news, retailer Next saw rises in total sales over the 2015 financial year and an underlying profit before tax rise of 5%. Balfour Beatty has been awarded a £170 million two-year extension to its track partnership contract for London Underground, and SSE will enter its closed period on 31st of March prior to announcing its full year results on 18th May. It expects an increase of its full year dividend of around 1%. Today's data in focus at 9am in the UK, retail sales data is released, and at 9am in EU, European Monetary Union Economic Bulletin will be released. At 9.30 in the UK, BBA mortgage approvals is released. At 10.15 in the EU, European Monetary Union target LTRO is released. And at 11 o'clock in the UK, CBI's distributive trade sales, trade sales survey is released. That's all for this morning's market update. Thank you and goodbye.